I'm going to be showing you how to get exotics as well as how to complete the devil's lair strike on the grandmaster difficulty. As you may know this week, there are double night for rewards so you'll be getting extra exotics and mask work materials. And you'll get the swarm machine gun from this week's nightfall. And you could possibly get two swarm machine gun drops since there are double nightfall rewards. And if you do the grandmaster difficulty, you'll get the adept version of this weapon. Also, you can do legend nightfalls for exotics and if you complete these nightfalls within 10 to 15 minutes, you'll get around 10 exotics in an hour. This week's nightfall is the devil's lair strike and there'll be anti-barrier and overload champions. There will also be arc and solar shields as well as void servitor shields in the boss room. So make sure you have the mods and the weapons to deal with this. For the start of the strike, I would recommend to go left and keep going until you see the overload champion. From here you have a good angle on the champion, stun it and then shoot it from distance. Once the champion is dead, you can go invisible or you can use your healing nade to skip past the rest of the adds. For the next room, there'll be some adds and a barrier champion. Clear the adds and then focus on the barrier champion. Once you've done that, you'll see an overload champion, some wizards and some adds. And these wizards have solar shields, so make sure you have solar weapons to break the shields and you can keep peeking and use this wall as cover. And when you push up to the stairs, some four will spawn to the left side, so watch out for that. Then the main focus will be the overload champion, the solar wizards and the vandals. You can use your super here if you have to. Once everything is dead, go to the train area as it's a safe place. Also, before the ads spawn, you can place anarchy shots where the ads spawn, so you can spawn kill them and you can chain Yasa supers to make your run a lot easier. But you don't always have to go for this option. You can also use Bottom Tree Tether, a Chaos Reach Warlock, a Stasis Hunter and a Well Warlock can also be really good. For the first wave there'll be one Overload Champion and some adds and once they're all dead there'll be another wave and for the next wave there'll be a Barrier Champion and some Solar Wizards. There will also be some shanks and some adds that spawn. And for the third wave, there will be overload champions and some adds that spawn. For the next part, there are some adds and an overload champion. And it should be very simple to clear this area. For the tank area, this is where your Yursa Titan or your well will come into play. And your main targets will be the Vandals and the Barrier Champion. Once the tank spawns, you can target the skiffs and then the tank. And the Sunderling Glare mod helps a lot for killing the tank in this area. And there'll be quite a lot of champions to kill in this area. And don't be too aggressive and don't get sniped by any vandals. And sometimes the barrier champion can shield the vandals, so this can be a problem. And once everything is dead, the next part is the boss room. When you enter the boss room, there'll be two overload champions and some adds. Once you've killed them, go to the left side of the room and use it as cover throughout the boss fight. There'll be a lot of adds, some explosive shanks, overload champions and some fallen captains with arc shields. And the boss fight has 3 stages of health and there'll be 8 void servitor shields that you have to kill throughout the boss fight. Once the boss is dead, you'll get some adept loot. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Thanks for watching.